Alright, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today we're gonna live again. My name is Uncle Mazli. I am a division manager from uh, headquarters, Benimbar Headquarters HQ. Uh, actually today, uh, my life topic is about exercises of practical life. So before that, uh, I also one of the campus manager, uh, which is I will I handle campus Equim Park in Sri Kembangan. Alright, our topic today is all about exercises of practical life or short form is EPL. So EPL or exercises of practical life is one of our subject in Penny Bunch. Alright, uh, let me introduce what is EPL or what is exercises, exercises of practical life. EPL stand for one of the subject that we want the children to be independent. This is a simple way for me to explain. To be independent, to be confident in what they will do in their life. Actually, uh, as everyone knows, when they learn in Burning Bunch, we want our children to be independent, to be confident in every way. <clears throat> One of the subject in EPL, we teach them how to pour in the water, how to sort an object, how to fold a clothes. Most of the subject, we teach them how they will learn uh, about their written life, how, what they will do on their written life. Like pouring a water, we want them to pour in the water so that the water did, didn't spill. <clears throat> we want them to use spoon properly, how to use spoon, how to eat the soup, how to use the forks, how to uh, organize the plate. So in Brandy Bunch, whenever they start in Brandy Bunch, from the age of two years old, we teach the children or the student to be independent, to wash, to wash their utensils, to wash their plates, to wash their cups, whenever they use it. So I will show you one of the video I have prepared uh, for you, which is this video will uh, show to everyone how these children are uh, pouring a water. So you can watch this video first. you can see in that video, the children will pour in the water in a proper way. We teach the children to pour in the water correctly so that uh, at home they can help their parents, they can help their sister or brother to pour in the water. Basically, uh, EPL subjects will teach them about their routine life. Whenever they go home, they can help, like they can sweep the floor, they can, uh, they can help the parents to fold a clothes. I have my own experience. Uh, whenever I teach the student, I teach my student at the school, uh, fold a clothes. Later when at home, the children willingly to help the parents uh, to fold the, the clothes, their clothes, and then they put properly at their, uh, at their room. All right. And another thing is uh, we want to teach them uh, to get their own experience in EPL subjects, which is we will ask them to explore first. Let's say we give them a we give them a spoon. See, they will take the spoon. They will use the spoon properly. But if they uh, if they do it wrong, then we teach them how to use the the spoon properly. Let's say uh, we use the spoon to eat the soup. 
they must use the spoon with this with they must touch the spoon you must use the spoon properly pouring a, with a water and then and then the spoon <coughs> uh they can wash after they use it uh you can say i have prepared uh, another one video which is uh the student and the teachers this is uh the way how we teach the student about epl subject as a source of practical life say you can watch this video first first the teacher or auntie will show first to the children how to take the apparatus at the shelf As you can see, at first auntie will introduce the name of the apparatus and then auntie will do tutorial how to use the apparatus. The student will only watch and see the tutorial. After that, auntie will put back the apparatus at the place and then auntie will ask the student to take the apparatus by their own and do the apparatus. student will do the apparatus based on their observation just now. If the student will do wrong, the auntie will let them to explore first. If the children do wrong, auntie will correct them after they finish do the apparatus and auntie will explain how is the correct way to use the apparatus.
if the student done do the apparatus, they will put back the apparatus at the correct place. Alright, uh, that video is an our way how to teach the children how to use the EPL apparatus. So each apparatus will teach them before they need to use that. Okay. Basically, before I totally forgot, uh, in EPL or exercise of, exercises of practical life is one of the important subjects in brain and brains, which is uh, during early year, especially in January, you're going to teach the student or the children about ground rules in the school. So EPL is one major subject to teach them about ground rules. Okay, one of the topic of ground rules is like how to talk, how to walk around the mat, how to walk on the line, how to carry a chair, how to carry a table, and the table manners, how to use spoon, how to use a cup. So everything they're going to learn in January during early years so that, so that they can uh, adapt the ground rules and practice at their home as well. All right. In EPL, we're going to teach them about life skill. Life skill that will uh, that they will use on their routine life. So that we our aim is we want them to practice at their home. Like I mentioned before this, we want them to help the parents, like a sweep a floor. We want to help their parents to wash a ball, wash a cup. Everything in EPL subjects is what they're gonna do what they're gonna do after they go home after they go going back from the school this is the basic important things they're gonna learn in their life <clears throat> all right i have prepared another one video which is uh, the real situation in a class in our classroom is in our classroom about how epl subjects happens in our class you can watch that As you can see here, the children is learning how to folding a cloth. This student is doing marble apparatus, which is this apparatus wants them to focus how to put the apparatus slowly. This apparatus only allows them to take the marble with three fingers related how they will use the pencil. After they done, they will put back the apparatus at the correct place and they will do a work cycle. Work cycle, which is mean they will take any apparatus that they already learn only. All right, that's it. That video is a real situation in our EPL subjects in classroom. 
So as you can see, everything in EPL subjects, whenever they use the apparatus, they must do it properly, silently, and even though they need to hold the tray with two hands, they cannot simply to hold the tray with one hand because everything is about the ground rules. So in exercises of practical life, we teach them how to be an independent student, independent children to their parents, and then everything they're going to do by their own. Even though uh, at first they will explore first, even though it's wrong. And then at, at the end of the session, our aunties or our teacher will teach them correctly, properly how to use the apparatus until they master uh, for certain apparatus. Okay, whenever they master for the certain apparatus, they can do any works. Uh, they can do a work cycle, which is a work cycle. After they done one apparatus, they can put back uh, the apparatus at the correct place by themselves. No need to wait for the aunties or uncles to help them to take and put back at the shelf. So everything they're going to do by their own. Only that, uh, our aim in EPL or exercise of apathetic life is uh, apply with the children. All right. I think that's all for our life for today. Uh, hopefully, you, uh, everyone, parents, our friends is happy to watch things and then you get something to learn in our EPL or our exercises of particular subjects in Benny Branch. InshaAllah, till we meet again in our another next live session. Assalamualaikum, my name is Yankan Masli.